I'm Mike Sullivan. Are you struggling with hitting fat shots and thin shots? Are you hitting behind the ball or are you sculling the ball or thinning the ball? Well, I've got a drill you can do right inside of your house that's gonna help you hit the ball more solid with all of your irons to get rid of fat and thin shots. We're shooting this inside because if you are watching this video at the time that we're making it, a lot of people are stuck inside right now. So we're gonna do this indoors. I'm not gonna be hitting balls, but that's okay. Let's talk about what goes on with our pressure into the ground when we're hitting good solid shots versus when we're hitting thin shots or fat shots. And here's the thing that I found out, and we're using this V1 Sports pressure mat. It's by Body Track. Body Track's been around for a long time doing this. Uh, this mat shows us what type of pressure is going into the ground as we're moving in our swing. So I've got this, uh, my iPad over here pointing at my feet right now so I can see what's going on. And if you look up in the corner there, you can see this little, see a little white ball? That ball shows my pressure going into the ground. Now, the mat just got reset and put my feet in the middle, which is great. But notice how I'm gonna make a backswing and I'm gonna turn back into my right side here and then my left side. Notice what's happening is before I take my backswing, that pressure ball is gonna move forward a little bit and before it comes backwards, all right? So our pressure into the ground is always going to precede the movement of the club for a better player. All right, so what we want is we want pressure going, believe it or not, you don't have to think about this, it's gonna move forward a little bit just before you take your backswing, and then before you start your downswing, we need that pressure going forward again into your, into your left foot. You can see how I'm making this little move, and see that ball is moving a little, that pressure ball is moving into my front side. Well, guess what happens to people who are hitting back here behind the ball? What happens is their pressure ball in the downswing starts too late. They don't get pressure moving into their front foot fast enough and they have a hard time really catching up. So when they hit the ball, they don't have enough pressure into their lead foot, into their lead foot, excuse me. The other thing that goes wrong, and you see this all the time when people are hitting behind the ball, thin or fat shots, is their pressure ball, their pressure moves into their front side with this mat, and it starts moving backwards as they're striking the ball, okay? And normally when we do video lessons, this little, this little graph on here is, is, on the less, is right on the swing so you can see exactly what your pressure is doing into the ground while you're moving the club. So as I'm doing this, hopefully as I'm moving forward, that pressure ball is moving into my front foot. See, so he's going into my left foot like that, right? That's the type of move we want. Now ideally, you'd have one of these mats to help you do this at home, but almost no one has one of these, so I wanna show you a little drill you can do. I want you to get set up, and I want a mirror in front of you, okay? Get set up in that mirror, get your arms out of play, cross your hands right here, and go ahead and just give yourself a little bit of tilt. So I'm a right-handed golfer, so I'm going that way. And I'm gonna work on just making a little back move here, and I wanna start to feel, I wanna push into the ground with my left foot, preferably the middle of my left foot or towards the heel before I'm done turning my shoulders back. So it's gonna be like this. Now I'm doing this not real time with the club so it's a little bit disjointed, but I'm really feeling that pressure moving into my front foot as I'm taking my, turning my shoulders back. And I'm looking and seeing that happen. Okay, so get in front of the mirror, take that back swing and feel I don't know if you see, can you see Lauren that I'm pushing the pressure in my front foot? Yeah, so we wanna get that working without a club first, okay? Then, we're gonna get rid of the ball here, right? Go ahead and put a club in your hand, any, any club you want, right? We're gonna make little swings, and I want you to feel that pressure moving into your front foot before you're done taking that back swing. I'm gonna take a look how I'm doing in my, my monitor here, good. Good. And then we're gonna try to make a swing. So hopefully visually you could see there as I'm making that little swing, the pressure's moving into my front foot as I'm taking that club back. Can you see how that's working? Here's what it looks like with an actual swing.
okay? I felt like that I exaggerated that a little bit. Did that look like a little bit of an exaggeration going forward? Yeah, so get in front of that mirror, right? Look in the mirror. I don't have one, I'm gonna pretend to look at one, right? And get that weight going forward. So if you're having trouble, again, if you're hitting behind the ball, hitting fast shots or thin shots, you're probably not consistently moving pressure into your front foot as you're striking that ball, and it's probably coming back a little bit. Now, there's something that relates to this that people do in their setup that helps contribute to this problem. Any idea what it is, Lauren? You want to guess? Um, exaggerating forward lean? Grip. Oh. Does that make sense? So if you grip the club weak, your club face is going to want to be open. So it encourages a little bit of a hang back like this. We see a ton of that, okay? So I actually had a lesson today where the person's grip was weak, so when they got to hit their shot, they were incentivized to, to hang back like this, and their weight was into their backside, okay? Then we adjusted his grip, this guy's a good athlete, just by giving him a better grip, he automatically, and I literally mean automatically because I didn't even talk to him about impact position, he automatically got to this position right here just because he could square the club face up because of the stronger grip that way, okay? So if you're hitting thin shots, if you're hitting fat shots, if you've got a weak grip, you're probably not getting pressure into your front side enough on all of your shots. So do these little drills with the mirror to really get used to that weight moving into that front foot, preferably the heel over the toe, okay? That's gonna help you hit the ball a lot more solid. I hope that helps, and I'll see you next time.